Hi guys, Ross here and welcome back to another video. It has been long overdue for me to come to the channel and create a video. So today I'm going to be creating a tutorial on how to make this embossed effect in Cinema 4D. Um, when it came to me trying to learn how to do this, I couldn't find any videos online. I couldn't find any like articles on how to do it. Um, luckily, I know some some people that are amazing at doing product visualizations and I kind of went to them and I asked them how they went about doing this kind of thing um, you know and they shared some great advice and some great tips and I'm now going to share that with you guys in this video I'm purely just going to talk about um, how, in, how to create this embossed effect um, I'm not going to go over lighting or creating the bottle or anything like that I think I'll save that for a separate video if there's a high enough demand for that or if enough people want that um, today I'm purely just going to focus on creating this material so I'm going to jump out of here quickly and I am using Corona Renderer uh, for Cinema 4D if you don't have it there is a free 45 day trial you can download from their website um, it's great it's probably one of the best trials I've ever used before um, just because there is literally no restrictions you can use it for commercial uh, work there's no watermarks or anything, so you really do get the full experience. Um, and it's 45 days long, so you know it's a month and a half. So yeah, let's jump straight into that, um, or not into that, let's jump straight into this video and this tutorial and let's get this done. So I've created a simple light setup. Uh, if I just come out my camera, I can show you. Um, I've just created a basic backdrop and some lights with a HDRI in. Um, and I've modeled a really simple bottle uh, just using a lathe object, um, fairly simple. Like I said, if people want to know how to do the whole process, I will create a video on that. And we're going to want to UV unwrap this for starters. So I'm going to duplicate this bottle layer and press C just to make it editable. Um, and then I'm going to hide this one. We don't need that anymore. Um, and we're going to use this to UV wrap the bottle. Uh, I'm just going to talk through a really quick method I do, uh, but we're going to come up to our layout, go to BPUV Edit, and this is now our UV unwrapping layout. Um, what we're going to do is just select our bottle, um, delete a material if you have one on there already, sometimes it can mess it up when you're going through the paint setup wizard, which is this button here. So we're going to click that, deselect all, and select our bottle, hit next, hit next again, I don't tend to play with those settings. And I put my resolution at 4000, which is roughly just under 4K. Um, that just lets you have like a really good quality label design if you want to do close-up shots. Uh, I'm just going to press finish. Uh, I'm going to press close on that. And now you see we have a UV unwrap here. So, uh, so this is the sides and the bottom and the top. Um, I will do a video on like doing a properly detailed UV unwrap if that's something you guys want to see. But for today, I'm just going to come into projection and set it to frontal. And then I'm going to press this button here, which is, no, I'm not going to press that. I'm going to come into optimal mapping back at the bottom, press apply, which is just going to scale it up. And I'm then going to press this button here, which is fit canvas to UV. So that crops it down. And basically this frontal projection is just showing us what the camera sees. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not trying to get angles of the back of pack, for example. Um, so I just need this frontal projection. Uh, I'm gonna come up to layer, uh, create UV mesh layer, which we'll need for when we take it into Photoshop. And then I'm gonna press file, save texture as, change this from TIFF to PSD, hit okay. And let's just call this bottle label 01. Save that, cool. So we're gonna go into Photoshop, um, open this up and just hide the UV mesh layer. And I'm also gonna create a solid color and just set that to black, which would be our base for the, for the label design. Right, so I'm gonna come into the text tool and I'm just gonna type embossed and I'm gonna change this font. Uh, let's go for Helvetica. That's not Helvetica, where's Helvetica? Right there, I am blind. Uh, Helvetica bold, rotate this. You know, of course, this, this can be anything you want. It could be your logo, for example. Um, I'm going to scale that up. And I'm just going to leave that how it is, really. Uh, so let's turn our UV mesh layer on. So, yeah, that's crazy big. So we want that to fit there. So the great thing about UV unwrapping is you can perfectly place where everything's going to be, as opposed to, like, 
if you drop the texture straight into cinema and then you have to mess with the offset um, and the material projection, you know, that's one of the benefits of doing it this way is that you know where everything's going to be when you put it in. So we've got our text um, and I'm going to hide the UV mesh layer quickly and just save this. And if we go back into cinema and just go file, revert texture to saved, and you now see it's basically updated the design with what we've done in Photoshop. And we can come out of this layout now, so I'm going to go back to the standard. Um, because I'm using Corona for this, um, I'm just going to have to quickly convert my material. Um, obviously, if you're not using Corona, you can keep the material the same. And I think I actually... No? Okay. Ignore me. Ignore me. Okay, so now, if we render this out quickly, let's see how this looks. Brilliant. So we've got our text in place, perfectly like we did it in Photoshop but we haven't got any embossing on it just yet and that's because we need to go into our material uh, enable displacement and if we go to texture and then bitmaps and it's going to have our PSD there and that's because we've already used it in the diffuse channel so if you've already used a PSD or JPEG or any file you can see I've got a few here um, it's going to keep them in the bitmaps folder and that's really useful for if you're layering up loads of displacements or bump channels or opacity channels, um, you can just have them there as opposed to having to search for them. So we're going to grab that, um, come into here and press layer select and just press select and then we want to generate alpha for this. Um, so what that's going to do is kind of look at our document, figure out what we want to show and what we don't want to show. So if we hit OK, we can now see that's updated to have a black design, uh, a black background, sorry. So the way um, pretty much all kind of like alpha masks, um, bumps and displacement work are that black will be unaffected and white will be, if we're talking about displacement, will be embossed or displaced, sorry. Um, same with alphas, white, if it's white it will show, if it's black it won't. So if we plug this into the opacity, just to show you quickly, go to bitmaps, go to label 01 and then set this and generate alpha that's now just got the text because all it recognizes is that white text and the rest is black so it's going to cut all the black out and just leave the text and you can use that to layer up materials which is um, really great so we don't need the opacity but that's just a little quick tip for you there but now if we render this out so we go up to Corona Interactive Rendering and uh, we've now got a crazy displacement so first of all what we want to do is just turn that down um, Let's turn literally down to like one and I don't think displacement updates. Yeah, so we're going to have to just uh, cancel that and reopen it. Let's have a look at how this looks. Brilliant. So we've got a slight embossing, but the only problem is if you've got a package and if you've got a bottle like this, it's never embossed like that. It's got more of like a, a soft edge to it. That's literally straight embossed out the glass um, and the way you know, glass is made, it wouldn't work like that. So what we need to do is go back into Photoshop and we need to convert this to a smart object for starters. Um, and then go to filter, Gaussian blur. Um, mine's at the top because I've used it, but if you go to blur and Gaussian blur. And I'm going to leave that maybe like at eight, put it to eight, and then we're going to save this, go back into cinema and we're going to reload our image, so go to displacement, click on the image and press reload. So that should have updated that now and then let's go back into our IR and have a look at this. So brilliant, you can now see how it's softened the edges and that's because like I was mentioning a minute ago about the white and black alpha channels, um, where it's blurred it, it's fading from white to black so it's making the displacement softer on the edges because it's obviously if it's black it doesn't displace it if it's full white it displaces it all the way to what you said it so that in between area is a slow like fade out to nothing which is why we get this really nice like soft effect now so we could probably blur it a bit more to be honest so i might go back into photoshop and just put this up to 10. let's have a look at how that looks save that back into cinema and let's reload the image hit OK on that and then refresh the IR let's see how this looks brilliant so that actually looks really good and that has taken us no time at all so 
you know, I'm, just for the sake of it, I'm going to play with the material. Uh, I don't know why that is in the diffuse. We don't actually need that, so I can clear that out. Um, and that's going to make it all one colour. So if we turn this down to like 10, we now have like a really nice matte black embossed bottle. Um, brilliant. Yeah, so hopefully you guys found that helpful. Um, and you can now, you know, kind of add to your visualisation skill set which is what I'm currently trying to do. Um, if I learn any more tips and tricks, I'll definitely make sure to share them with you. Of course, that's if you guys want to keep seeing videos like this or if you do just want me to stick with lettering. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video, leave a comment on any feedback if you've got questions about things or you want to tell me to make more videos, don't make any more videos like this, then just let me know. So thanks for watching guys and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.